Hey friends, Wes here checking in with a video today about photography. On Saturday, October the 11th, 2014, I participated in the Scott Kelby Worldwide Photo Walk. Scott Kelby is the owner, proprietor of Kelby One Media. They do sort of online as well as in-person training for digital artists, photographers, Photoshop, those kind of things and uh, every year they uh, Scott help Kelby hosts a worldwide photo walk uh, where he just invites people from all around the world to create photo walks in their city and just go out for the day and shoot something takes photographs enjoy the time hanging out with other photographers and there were over 1,000 photo walks all over the world this year and uh, there was one here in my hometown of Gainesville Florida that I participated in it was hosted by uh, another photographer by the name of Wes. He is a digital media uh, instructor, digital media teacher at a local community college here in Gainesville. And did a really good job of hosting the event. Had a really great time. Uh, I brought along some models for us to work with. So we had some models to shoot with. That was really cool. And it was just a fun day hanging out with other photographers and, and you know, got lunch afterwards. Uh, I did a GPS track while we were walking and I walked uh, like seven and a half kilometers. So just, you know, over four, a four hour period, we covered a lot of not a lot of distance physically, but just a lot of moving around. Uh, uh, just a, a really nice day to be outside. A little bit on the warm side, but not too bad. And just a, a really fun event. So I wanted to come here and say how much fun I had. If you're a photographer, I suggest you try and find a photo club in your area, a photo walk in your area. Just hook up with some other photographers and have a good time and, and enjoy the camaraderie and being able to talk shop. It's really, it's a really fun and enjoyable experience. Let's go ahead and talk about what I was using on the photo walk just real quick. I had my Canon T4i digital SLR. Uh, I do use a batter, vertical battery grip. I do like taking vertical images quite a bit and I found that I really like having this battery grip on here. It just makes it really handy to, to turn the camera sideways and I still have all my controls and shutter button and everything here. Uh, really, really nice to have that. Uh, shot some pictures with this is the nifty 50 Canon 50 millimeter f1.8 sometimes called the plastic fantastic this is their their hundred dollar lens that's a really great uh, portrait lens as well as just general photography lens really fast works great in low light uh, so I shot with that as well as the 18 to 135 STM lens. This is the kit lens that came with my camera. This is the higher end of the two kit lenses that Canon offers with their entry level digital SLRs. And I really like this lens a lot. I'm really glad I spent the extra to get the slightly better kit lens. There is an 18 to 55 that they also sell uh, that I'm not as impressed with. Uh, the build quality on that one's not as good. So I would suggest if you're getting into a digital SLR uh, and you're going Canon to get the 18 to 135, it is worth the extra cost. And this lens will serve you well. And it's I, I'm going to continue to use it. It's just a great lens, great all-around lens, really sharp, and just really durable and really well built. So shot with that as well as the most recent addition to my lens uh, catalog, lens collection, whatever you want to call it. This is the Tamron 70-300 telephoto lens with uh, vibration compensation or image stabilization, whatever you want to call it. Another great lens, great value lens for, for an amateur photographer, uh, someone who's just not doing professional work. This does really sharp images, this vibration reduction or st image stabilization on this lens is like four stops of image stabilization so you can get some really sharp sh shots at slower shutter speeds with this lens. And I'm just, I continue to be blown away by, by the pictures coming out of this lens. I've taken some really great shots with this lens already even though I just got it a month ago. And I got some more events coming up here in the next two weeks that I'm going to be using this a lot at. There's a homecoming parade this Friday, and then there is a, an auto race that I'm going to be going to the Friday after that. So two very useful events to be able to use that lens. Uh, I know with the homecoming parade last year, the 135, 18 to 135 was not quite long enough to get out to get some really detailed shots of some of the some of the 
uh, people in the parade, so I'm really looking forward to having that. So enough of this gear talk. Let's go ahead and get into the slideshow portion of the show. I uh, just wanted to share these with you with you all. Uh, if you'd like to see any of these in more detail or or whatever, they will be in my Flickr page, which I will link in the show notes below to where you can check those out. And uh, they're all available free to use for non-commercial use. So if you want to download any of them, go go for it. No problems there. So I guess that's all I have to say. Thanks for checking this out. Hope you enjoy the photos. And we'll see you again real soon. Cheers. <laughs>